this is a neglected butterfly bush and it's not been pruned for many years. There are a couple problems when you don't prune butterfly bushes. They get too tall or certain parts of them die back and you have to go in by hand and prune them. And what also happens is some of the growth at the base gets really big. What I find in some of those colder areas when we get really cold temperatures, if you don't prune your butterfly bush year after year, uh, sometimes the whole plant will die or three quarters of it will die. I'll show you how to prune butterfly bushes. It's pretty easy, but you need to do it every spring. I find in colder temperatures, the butterfly bushes that are pruned closer to the ground sometimes survive more. The difference between pruning a butterfly bush at 18 inches from the ground or six inches from the ground means that it's about a foot, foot and a half shorter when you prune it closer to the ground. The best time of year to do it again is mid-spring, around April. And if you look, most of these are cut six inches from the ground. So just go on down. It's very easy with the loppers. And I'm gonna prune mine at about six inches from the ground. And you know what I sometimes do? I do a comparison. I'll take one plant and I'll cut one at 18 inches and I'll cut one at six inches or lower. And if you do this, you're gonna have a beautiful butterfly bush coming into full flower all season long. This is the white beauty berry, also known as Calicarpa alba. It's upright, it gets tall, taller than me. So I don't prune this really low to the ground. So just come in and take your hand pruners, just like this, and you can see we're pruning it at 24 inches, and you just prune just like this. Now the reason you can do this in the spring is this plant blooms on new wood and then produces the beautiful pure white porcelain berries for the fall. This is the purple beauty berry. It's the weeping form, which I love. Not too big for the garden. And again, you come in with your hand shears and I like to bunch it up, makes it easy. And you just come right in and prune it at about 24 inches from the ground. And this plant will produce new growth like you see here in the spring, flower, and then bury in the fall. I'm Mark Viet. Join me next time in the garden. For more garden tips, go to inthegardenradio.com.